Hello kids, God bless you. I love you. I miss you guys. Let's continue with our lesson. We are learning about the Ten Commandments and we will be learning about the commandment of honor your father and your mother. Let's begin with a prayer. Heavenly Father, I give thanks to you. I glorify your name. I praise your holy name. I shout with joy your name because you are almighty for thank you Lord for being so good and so kind to us. Thank you for your unfailing love. Thank you God for all your protection for helping us when we are in worrying God in Jesus name I pray amen amen wow I am so excited to teach you guys this lesson as I enjoy myself to learn a lot from this too so even though I'm older than you guys I still enjoy learning too so our Bible storyline is honor your father and your mother what is our big idea, kids? God wants us to listen to our parents' instruction and teachings. The key question, what is honor? Honor is when we show respect to someone that you highly respect and that you greatly esteem someone that you love or care for and value someone that represents that is that represents in your life the word of God teaches us that the in this first commandment is the only one with a promise because God promised to reward us with a longer lifespan or lifetime that is in Ephesians 6 2 we supposed to honor our heavenly father and our earthly parents the Word of God says children should honor their father and their servant his master so our God is both our father and master who deserves love obedience and respect that is in malachi 1 6 god does not want us to honor him with our lips but with our hearts mark 7 6 he wants us to give him our heart and observe his waves ways proverbs 23 26 our memory verse Blessed is the one who reads out loud the word of his prophecy. And blessed are those who hear and obey what is written in it. That is in Revelation 1, 3. What a powerful scripture. Blessed is all who reads out loud the word of this prophecy and blessed are those who hear and obey what is written in Revelation 1 3 I had to read it again let's us summarize what we have learned last Sunday God gave Moses the Ten Commandments which are his rules to teach us how to live in a moral way have no other guys besides me have no idols or worship only your true god never use god's name in vain and remember the day of sabbath the day of rest the ten commandments god gave moses on his holy mountain mount sinai was written with his own finger on two stones that's in exodus 31 18 these life rules of do's and don'ts are important to follow kids p 
people cannot live in society without rules and laws written by God. These are rules we need to obey and follow even if we don't like them. Yes. We learn today about the fifth commandment, honor, respect, obey your father and your mother so your days may be prolonged in the land of the Lord your God who gives you Exodus 20 12 but before we begin to unfold this command we must know what it means what does it mean how what does it mean to honor your parents when we honor them by the way we show them and demonstrate them and with an attitude of respect and obedience when we obey our parents in everything it pleases God that is in Colossians 320 God wants us to listen to our parents instructions and teachings and when and then like and then wear them like a garland of favor on our heads and a pendant around our necks that is in proverbs 1 8 through 9 children try not to act disrespectfully or misbehave in a rebellious way or show lack of honor towards your parents god wants us to apply ourselves to discipline that is in proverbs 23 12 it is especially important when we listen to our parents who gave us life that is in Proverbs 23 22 God wants us I mean, I'm sorry God wants our parents to teach us train us in good ways that is in Ephesians 6 4 he wants our parents to teach us in to love him with all our heart soul and mind and strength he wants our parents to be persistent teaching us always about his truth constantly talking about him day and night yes he wants him to talk to us always when we're laying down when we're walking when we just hang around the house or about anywhere any place anytime yes God also does not want them to withhold discipline when it is necessary. We might not like when we are reprimanded, rebuked, but God wants our parents to do so. He does not want our parents to fail to correct us. He says it, it will not kill them if they are firm with them because this will save them. Proverbs 23 13 through 14 God says that disciplining a child because it produces wisdom knowledge he says to our parents that if they discipline us when we are small then when we grow older we will give them a peace of mind and their hearts will be glad that they did so that is in Proverbs 29 15 through 17 we are to respect obey and listen to our parents forever even when we grow older it never should stop we must make sure not to have any resentment or bitterness in our hearts when we are corrected we must respect by not talking back raising our voice or confronting our parents in a disrespectful manner the word of god says no one can tame control the tongue because it's restless fidgety and edgy it is full of deadly poison and evilness one minute we might say something nice and the next minute we pour bad hurtful words that is in james 3 7 through 10 god warns us not to let our heart feed into the root of bitterness because that might prevent you from receiving god's grace that is in hebrews 12 15. there's a story about jesus the son of god whose earthly parents were mary and joseph 
every year kids they used to go to Jerusalem for the Passover festival Jesus was about 12 years old they returned home from Nazareth and Jesus stayed behind in the temple sitting down among the teachers his earthly parents returned to Jerusalem and anxiously searched for him and did not find him for three days. Wow. Once they found him, Mary, his mother, was amazed by what she heard. But she immediately asked Jesus, why do you treat me like this? Jesus was obedient. He returned with them. Mary kept everything in her heart. That story is in Luke 2, 41 through 51. God teaches us that a wise son listens to his father's discipline, but a marker does not listen to his rebuke. That is in Proverbs 13, 1. Our grandparents our, I'm sorry, our parents and grandparents deserve honor because they play an important role as well in God's plan for our lives. It, it's so important to listen to their advice and opinion with kindness and humility. Other people, God wants us to show respect our elders, the ones with gray hair, and to honor their face because they are old that is in Leviticus 1932 God wants us to respect everyone and show love to his church his people he wants us to be loving to one another in brotherly love out doing ourselves and honoring one another in Romans 12 and and to honor God and respect the king. 1 Peter 2.17 God says pay everyone what you owe him. Respect to whom respect is due. Honor to whom honor is due. That is in Romans 13.7 because, so, because if we do not, then this will dishonor God. So far, we are to honor and respect, respect God, our parents, our grandparents, our pastors, the church leaders, and other people who he has appointed, such as the government authority, the law enforcement, and other authority figures like your school teachers, Romans 13, 1 through 2. Lastly, some people deserve double the honor, and those are our pastors, our church leaders. They call the elders who rule. They devote their lives in preaching and teaching God's people. 1 Timothy 5.17 They were placed by the Holy Spirit to care for God's church in Acts 20:28. 20, God warns us to respect our brothers in Christ who labor, work among us and over us for him. In 1 Thessalonians 5:12, he wants us to obey our leaders and accept submit to them because they watch over our souls. He wants us to allow them to lead us with joy and not with a heartache, sorrow. For that then will not be of no benefit help to us if we refuse them. Hebrews 13, 17. God wants us to remember our leaders who spoke the word of God to us and observe their ways in faith. And that's Hebrews 13, 7. God urges us to pray for everyone intercede on their behalf and give thanks for them that is in 1 timothy 2 1 through 2 all of us who are younger should obey the elders instructions and clothe ourselves with humility towards one another god disagrees with the prideful people but to the humble he gives them grace 1 peter 5 5 
we should not allow anyone to look down on us because we are younger but we are to be an example to them by the way we talk the way we carry ourselves the way we behave in love in faith and in purity 1 Timothy 4 12 God does not want us to be disrespectful or disobedient children in Moses era of time children who were out of control stubborn and rebellious they were corrected and disciplined severely the parents would take the child to the elders at the town gates and let them know that he she refused to listen the child was punished by all the men of the town which they were stoned to death they thought this would punish this punishment will purge the evil out of them. Wow, that is in Deuteronomy 21, 18 through 21. God wants a beautiful relationship between parents and children. Children, talk to your parents always for everything. And because they know right from wrong, parents want and wishes the best for you kids. Because they love you. Your opinions and thoughts are important for them as long as you talk to them respectfully. If you listen and obey to your parents, know that as you grow older, then you will learn to make good decisions for yourself. What an important lesson. Wow, I am so happy that I'm learning so many different Bible verses about how we supposed to honor not only our earthly parents our mother and father but our heavenly father he deserves the same honor and respect and when he disciplines us he does it because he loves us yes kids he loves us let's finish our lesson with a prayer heavenly father Thank you so much for this word. Thank you for teaching us how to be respectful, obedient towards you and to our mother and father. Thank you for teaching us to obey our elders, our pastors, our church leaders with dedication for their work. Because that pleases you and only you, my Lord. Thank you for your love and your compassion. I pray that we continue to seek you with a sincere heart to be humble and to always pray and to talk to you constantly and to show you to and to show us to have con con continue to have a strong heart with you and to always have that brotherly love for one another. In Jesus name I pray. Amen. I love you kids. Have a blessed weekend.